first question eight boxes are placed one above the other in a stack eight boxes are placed one above the other in a stack and not more than two boxes are placed above box q not more than two boxes are placed above q means not more than 20 what is the possibility for the number of boxes above q not more than two means there is a possibility for two there is a possibility for one and there is a possibility for zero clear or not isn't it so not more than two boxes are above q means there is a possibility that above q possibilities two box possibilities there one box possibility will be there and zero box possibilities also there that means how many possibilities are getting here three possibilities next one next is three boxes are placed between box q and t how many boxes are there between box q and t here any boxes on ind three boxes are there between box q and t isn't it now tell me up here how many boxes we got here you can any boxes chain monkey five boxes isn't it next one two boxes are placed be between box u and s and the word which represents here yes s is placed below box t s is placed below box t below between s and u how many boxes are there here two boxes are there okay next one and next is box u does not place immediately our box t that means definitely you should not come here isn't it? So, man, get good possibilities in the one day. Directly, okay. Arrangement, la man, goes na answer directly. Okay, na. So, children, di. Nin Q I endu point this kona no T kinde this kona ante. Why have taken Q on the top and why have taken T on the bottom? Only two boxes are there. That means not more than two boxes are placed above box Q, isn't it? That is why have taken Q above T. Okay, isn't it? Now see here. Next is box U and S is uh, box U and S is S is placed below box T, isn't it? Now here, how many boxes are there here? Five boxes are there. And think that there is a possibility that three boxes are there below T. Okay, I am checking the possibility, isn't it? And S should be definitely below T or not? S should be definitely below T. Now tell me, can I take S here? How many boxes are there between S and U? Two boxes. If I am taking S here, definitely to a T a, U has to come here. There is no possibility. Now tell me, can I take S here? No. If I am taking S here, U has to come here. But U should not be immediately above T, isn't it? Next possibility is, now tell me, S has to be immediately below T or not? Yes or no? S has to be immediately below T. If S is immediately below T, and U has to be, U has to come here or not, isn't it? So two boxes are there between, two boxes are there between S and U. Isn't it? So two boxes are there between S and U. Next one. Next is box P is immediately above box V. So box P is immediately above box V. Next is box R is placed above box W but does not place above box V. That means, so box R is placed above box W, but does not place above box V means, definitely R has to be below V or not? Yes or no? R has to be below V. Now tell me, what is the possibility for V and P here? What is the possibility for V and P? Isn't it? I think V and P, I don't know V and P. Yes or no? Can V and P can come here? So total, you can know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Marking the two boxes on the other. two boxes on the Q and on the Chabo Q and on the Chilean day below S and on the Chandi. In the Kante, E condition starts for you definitely these two boxes should be above Q or below. Below, yes, isn't it? Suppose in Ikat this Kunan Kondi, P is immediately above V. If I have taken this P and V here, now tell me this condition satisfies here. E condition satisfies here. That means definitely P and V will should be above Q or not. 
Yes or no? Now, where R has to come here and where double has to come here? Now, R has to come between Q and U or not? Isn't it? And double has to come between U and T. Completed or not? Yes? Ardhavayinna? Huh? The next one. 12 cricketers are sitting in two parallel rows containing six people each in each row in such a way that there is an equal distance between its and persons in the row. In row 1, P, Q, R, S, T and V are sitting and all of them are facing south. Who are facing south here? P, Q, R, S, T and V. So these persons are facing south. Next is and in row 2, A, B, C, D, E and F are sitting and all of them are facing north, isn't it? So who are facing north here? A, B, C, D and D, E and F. So these persons are facing north. Next one. The persons in both the rows are facing each other. They are facing each other. Next, first point. A is third to the right of D. Now tell me, can I take D here or not? Isn't it? A is sitting third right of D means first right, second right, third right. Now tell me, A has to come here or not? Isn't it? So, A is sitting third right of D. Next one. Neither A nor D are at extreme ends. That means A and D are not at any extreme ends. That means here at least one person will be there here. And on the right of A also one person will be there here. Not, uh, not tell me you got the six persons in the first row or not. So, definitely opposite also how many persons will be there? Six persons will be there. Opposite also six persons will be there. Next one. Next is... V is not an, uh, V does not face A. So that means definitely V will not come here. V does not face A and V does not sit at any of the extreme ends and V is not an immediate neighbor of T. That means V is not an extreme end. Next is, and V is not an immediate neighbor of T. And more, one more point is, T faces D. And T is not an immediate neighbor of T also. Okay, and see here, V does not face V A, and we could rather than D, next one, and V does not sit at any of the extreme ends, that means V will not come here, next one, and V is not an immediate neighbor of T, that means V will not come here, the only possibility is V has to come here or not, yes or no, yes, next one, next is B sits at one of the end of the row, isn't it? That means, now tell me B can come here or B can come here. Two possibilities are there, isn't it? Next one, only two people sit between B and E and E does not face, E does not face B. That means, definitely E will not come here. Yes or no? How many persons are there between B and E? Two persons. For example, if I am taking B here, now definitely E has to come here. But E should not face B. That means definitely B we should not come here. Isn't it? The only possibility is B has to come here or not. So two persons are sitting sitting between B and E. Now tell me definitely E has to come here or not. Okay. Next one. Next is two people are sitting between R and Q and R is not an immediate neighbor of T. That means R will not come here and R will not come here. Now tell me can I take R here? Can I take R here? No. If I am taking R here, so two people are sitting between Q and R. So definitely Q has to come here. But here already who is there here? T is there. Isn't it? Next possibility, now tell me can I take R here or not? Isn't it? And how many persons are there between R and Q here? Two persons. One, two. Now definitely Q has to come in this place or not? Isn't it? Next one. Next is C does not face V. That means definitely C will not come here and C has to come here or not? Then who is the remaining person? F. F has to come here. And next is, and P is not an immediate neighbor of R. That means P will not come here and definitely P has to come here. Then who is the remaining person? Yes. Next one. A, B, C, D, E and F are family members related to each other and A is brother of B. A is brother of B. Next one. And C is the sister of 
C is the sister of A. A is the brother of B and C is the sister of A. Next one. D is the brother of E. We don't have what D and here. Next one. E is the daughter of B. E is the daughter of B. Now, see the previous point here. What is the previous point here? D is the brother of E. So, D is the brother of E. Next one. F is the father of C. F is the father of C. Now, see the first question. Who is uncle of D? Who is uncle of D? A. So, A is uncle of D. Next one. How is E related to F here? How is E related to F? Grand daughter. So, granddaughter. Next one. If H is the father of D, if H is the father of D, that means if H is the father of D and B has to be the B has to be the mother of D or not, isn't it? And how is A related to H here? How is A related to H here? Brother in law. Next, inequalities. Shall we see inequalities? Ah. First one. So D greater than E. Where is D here? D is here and E is here. Now tell me what is the common variable in between these two? C is common or not? That means in place of C I can write E or not? C plus E does ko chaleda. Because C is equal to E. Ah, that means what is the common variable here c is common that means so d greater than c and c equal to e now tell me what is the conditions between d and e here d greater than e that is right or wrong here right next one b greater than e so b is here and e is here and here also the common variable is c that means b greater than or equal to c and c equal to e now tell me will you get that b greater than e is right or wrong here wrong next one Yes, greater than P. See, Q equal to S and D. And we have Q plus S and R. S plus Q and R. Isn't it? Now tell me, S greater than P. That is right or wrong here? Wrong. Next one. N less than S. N less than or equal to M. N M less than S. Right or wrong here? Right. Next one. V equal to S. V is here and S is here. And here the conditions are opposite here and definitely the first conclusion is wrong. Next one, Q greater than M. So Q is here and M is here and here also the conditions are opposite here. So this is also wrong. Next one, C logs. First statement, all chocolates are, all chocolates are toffee. And only a few muffin are dark. Only a few muffin are dark. Next is no toffee is muffin. No toffee is muffin. No toffee is muffin. And what's the previous one here? Only a few muffin are dark. Only a few muffin are dark means some part of muffin will come under dark and some part of muffin will not come under dark. Okay. And first conclusion here. No chocolate is a muffin. Now tell me no chocolate is muffin that will be right or wrong here. That is right. In the country, so toffin ki muffin ki much relation even that you can no one relation on the definitely e no one relation no e chocolate ki muffin ki much lakona exist out on the okay na. So no chocolate is muffin will be right. Next one. And some toffee can never be dark. So some toffee can never be dark that will be right or wrong here. So some toffee or not dark, right out the wrong outuna. That will be that will be wrong. When it will be right means so some toffee can never be muffin. That will be right. Okay, muffin and te right and di. So some toffee can never be muffin and te right out the can you could what do you So some toffee can never be dark and so that is wrong. Clear? Next one. Next one. All summary are all summary are gathering. Next one. Only a few gathering are committee. That means the remaining part of gathering will not come under committee. Next one. No parties. No parties gathering. 
no party is gathering first one some committee can be summary now can be means it's a possibility or not isn't it now tell me is there any chance that some committee can intersect this summary possibilities there or not yes next one so some party can be committee now tell me this party can intersect this committee or not possibilities there or not yes so both one and two follows next one the next one no market is no market is home next one and only a few home are room only a few home are room rest mining part of home is not under room next one only a few room are vans that means the remaining part of room is not vans and first one some home are vans can you see there some home are vans here right or wrong wrong next one some market can never be room now tell me some market can never be room that is right or wrong here that is wrong okay so some room can never be market that is right or wrong here that will be right okay next one see logs under ki open ya ha okay next one some balls are garden some balls are garden and all garden are trade and only few trade are pump only few trade are pump that means the rest mining part of trade will not come under pump and first one some balls are pumps right or wrong wrong next one some garden can be pump possibility is there or not there is a chance that some garden can intersect this pump possibility is there or not yes this is right and next one the next one next if all consonants are replaced its next letter then how many alphabets are then how many alphabets are repeated in the new arrangement how many alphabets are repeated in the new arrangement so if all the consonants what is the consonant here k is a consonant or not what is the next letter after k k ki next letter l and for y for y z and for r yes and for c d next letter is m for m n and for l m k n okay next is this is beta and this is u oval and for l m next is v v ki next letter w q ki next letter r p ki p ki ha ah. next one s ki w ki ha ah, a b c d f g h start cheyandi w ki x next one t ki u g ki h how many letters are repeated here which letter is repeated or not which letter is repeated here u is repeated or not yes next one how many symbols are there in the above arrangement which is immediately preceded by a consonant but not immediately followed by vowel how many symbols are there which are immediately preceded by consonant but should not be immediately followed by vowel vowel rakodandi isn't it so symbol should be preceded by consonant but should not be followed by vowel so we have to find such symbols and if you take at the rate now tell me at the rate is preceded by any consonant no now tell me and now tell me and is preceded by consonant or not yes and it is not followed by vowel now tell me can you take and or not here yes next is copyright now tell me copyright is preceded by consonant or not and it is followed by vowel it is followed by vowel no now tell me can you take copyright or not yes next is beta now tell me beta is preceded by consonant or not 
बेटा एक्सप्रेस बाई कॉन्सनेट बट इट इज फॉल्ड बाय वोवेल सो वी शुड नॉट टेक बेटा हेयर नेक्स्ट इज डॉलर डॉलर इज प्रिस्ड बाई कॉन्सनेट एज वेल एज फॉलोड बाय कॉन्सनेट नो टेल मी कैन यू टेक डॉलर और नॉट हेयर नेक्स्ट वन हैश हैश इज प्रिस्ड बाई कॉन्सनेट एंड फॉलोड बाय कॉन्सनेट नो टेल मी कैन यू टेक हैश आर नॉट नेक्स्ट वन एंड परसेंटेज एंड परसेंटेज इज प्रिस्ड बाई कॉन्सनेट बट इट इज नॉट फॉलोड बाय but it is not followed by oval now tell me can you take percentage or not and up to here how many we got here 1 2 3 4 five option is more than four next one next one four of the following five are like in a certain way and hence form a group which among the following does not belong to that group e r and E R N. It is following one pattern. Next one. C U M. C U M. A second option also following the same pattern or not? Next one. L H V. So same pattern or not? Isn't it? Next one. S O W. Same pattern or not? Yes. Next one. P W percentages. P W percentages. Now tell me this pattern is different or not? This pattern different or not? Yes. Next one. Next. How many such alphabets are there in the arrangement which is immediately preceded and immediately followed by symbol? So we have to find the alphabets which are immediately preceded by and immediately followed by symbol. It should be pre immediately preceded by symbol and should be immediately followed by symbol. So we have to find such alphabets here. So first we will see the symbols here. So N is there, and this is Y is there. Okay. Now tell me Y is immediately preceded by symbol or not? But it is not followed by symbol. Next is we will take copyright. So C is immediately preceded by symbol, but it is not followed by symbol. Okay. Next any other? If we take beta. And U is immediately preceded by symbol, but it is not followed by symbol. Next is V. V is preceded by symbol, but not followed by symbol. And next is P. Now tell me, P is preceded by symbol or not? P is preceded by symbol, and it is also followed by symbol. Now tell me, can you take P or not here? Yes. Next is star. If we take star here, O is preceded by symbol, but not followed by symbol. And G is preceded by symbol. But not followed by any element. Okay, how many such alphabets are there here? Only one. Okay. Next one. Which of the following is tenth to the right of the element which is eighteen from the right hand? So if both are right, what you are going to do here? Minus difference, isn't it? So tenth from right. Next is eighteenth from right. Rendu righta the angels thani kar mano minus angels thani. Difference enta. Eight, eighth from right side. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Next one. Next one. P is to the north of. P is to the north of Q. Next one. And S is to the east of P. S is to the east of P. Next one, and the word who represents here? P. P is to the south of. P is to the south of W. Next one, and T is the west of. T is to the west of P. Okay. Next one. The question is, who among us the following is towards south of W and north of Q? South of W, north of Q means who is the person? P. Next one. W is in which direction with respect to T? When you see from T, W is in which direction here? North, east. This direction north is going to be. This north direction is the east direction. And the A direction on the W is the northeast direction on the. Next one. If it is possible to make only one meaningful English word with the second, fourth, sixth, and seventh letters of the word unilateral. The word is unilateral. Which would be the second letter of the word from the right hand? And if more than one such word can be formed, give wise answer. If no such word can be formed, give 
Zed as your answer. Okay. So second, fourth, sixth, and seventh letters. What are the letters here? N. Next is L. Next is T. Next is E. Now tell me, can you form any word with these letters? What is the word we can form here? Lent. L E N T. Now they are asking that which would be the second letter from the right hand. Okay. So from right hand, the second letter is N. Next one. Four of the following five are alike in a certain way and hence form a group which among the following does not belong to that group. Now tell me between A and D how many letters are there? Two or four? Two letters. Between D and G? Two letters. And between P and S? Q, R. Between S and V? Two letters. Between M and P? Three letters. Ah, Chapandi. Two letters. Between P and S? Two letters. E K G K. Idhe ka answer ho. Next one. Ha, in the word produce, how many pairs of letters have the have? the same number of letters between them in the given word as they have in the English alphabetical series. That means in this question we have to find the pair of letters. Okay. What is the word here? Produce. Now tell me what is the placeholder of P? 16. R is 18. O is 15. And D is 4. U is 21. And C is and E is 5. So here also we have to find both forward and backward directions. Okay. Even though in the question if has not mentioned both forward and backward, in the question we have to find both forward and backward directions. Okay. And 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. No pair here. Next is 18, 19, 20, 21. It's a pair or not? It's one pair or not? Next one. Next is 22, 23. And 15 after any highest number is there here? No. And 4 after 4, 5, 6, 7. And 21 after 22, 23. And 3 after 4. So forward is completed or not? Next one, backward. 3, sorry, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Next one. 3, 4, 5, 6, no pair. 21 after any highest number is there? No. And 4, 5, any number is there? No. 15, 16, 17, and 18 after 19. How many pairs we got here? One pair. The next one. The next one. There are seven friends A, B, C, D, E, F, and G who visit an eye doctor every week. However, each one goes on a different day of the week starting from Monday. Isn't it? So total how many friends are there here? Seven friends. The starting day is? The starting day is Monday. That means total how many days will be there here? Seven days. From Monday to? Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and? Saturday and Sunday. And next one. No two person go to the doctor on the same day. And A visit doctor on Monday. A visits the doctor on Monday. And D's turn to visit the doctor comes at the very last. At the very last means Sunday. Next one. And only four person with the, visit the doctor before C. Now C has to be on Friday. Next one. G visit the doctor after C. So G has to be on Saturday and B's turn comes B's turn comes after E and before F. Isn't it? That means E B F. Completed or not? Yes. Okay. Is it clear or not? Right, thank you.